my channel. My name's Tosh. I think I'm pretty posh and oh my gosh, I'm so excited that you're here today. If you're new, don't forget to click that button down below, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the joy that I have to bring to you this year. And if you're a returning subscriber, I want you to know that I would die for you. We would take a bullet if you need us to. <laughs> so today's video is an apartment tour, like always on the Tuesdays, you know. Today's tour was the Windsor Broadway station and this place was really, it was nice. Honestly, I stopped and talked to somebody that lived there and they were telling me some tea. Basically just, you know, the management company, this place is like, based off what this person was saying, not my words. This is all alleged. I don't know anything about this place because I've never lived there, but this person was saying like the management company is just terrible, like always out to like, you know, get as much money from people as they can. Um, she said that parking is really terrible if you ever have guests or even if you live there because you only have one parking garage and it's like all the way on the other side of the complex. So you have to kind of walk. If you have groceries, it can be really frustrating. Um, so she was just kind of telling me some stuff and I did record part of it, but my phone died. So I'm gonna have to look and see if I have that recording, if it's saved or not, but we'll see. But here is a quick glimpse of the property map. I'm doing a self-guided tour right now. She said that she got overbooked by like three appointments. So I had to do a self-guided tour. We're just gonna go out here. That's super nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm passing the dog park. And then literally, you're right on Broadway. We won't be doing maps in this video, but. So something I'm noticing just walking around this apartment, um, it's kind of difficult to get upstairs. I mean, you have one in the other building, you have stairs. I haven't found stairs in this building, but they have the one elevator that I found. They might have more elevators, but I don't know, definitely need more for the amount of apartments that they have here, in my opinion. So just a quick self-guided tour. It's been a minute since we've done one of these and I wasn't expecting to do one, so I didn't really dress cute but that's fine, we're gonna roll with it because this is what it is. So right when you walk in, you have this like oak door. You have concrete flooring. You don't get any wood flooring here, it's just concrete. But anyways, you do get stainless steel appliances. And I was asking her about pricing. She said it's like $1,700, $1,800. Pretty nice, pretty big spacious fridge for sure. You have a glass top stove and I think these are granite countertops, full size sink, like after fees and stuff like that, parking, amenities, club fees, whatever you have to pay, like after all that is added, you're gonna be paying $2,000. So, and I'm speaking from experience cause I literally, pay $2,000. So on the balcony, they have this like thing to separate the balconies. They all have that for this one at least. Um, I feel like obviously people are okay with it because they live here, but I personally would not be down for that. I don't really go on my balcony that much, but I, I literally am so not a social person. I would just be like, anytime somebody came outside, I would stop talking or just be quiet just because I'm uncomfortable. I'm weird though. <laughs> um, but yeah, something that I do like is that you do have this like island feature. So if you have bar stools, you definitely have enough room to set them underneath this island for sure. Super good and you can definitely fit like four or five there. So you have a lot of room for company, um, for eating, stuff like that. And then you have your living room, which I actually don't mind the concrete for. I think it looks really good industrial. I like the concrete look, it's it's a vibe. <laughs> um, and then going into the bedroom, starting right here, you already have that carpet beginning. It's like a light gray carpet. And you can tell that this carpet is new too because it just looks so good. <laughs> Um, so this is the bedroom. I would say that you have enough room to, you could definitely fit like a king size bed in here and uh, dressers, or not dressers, what are those things called? Nightstands and just still totally be so comfortable. 
And then also you have a whole walk-in closet, you guys. So literally, if you have a dresser like me, I probably would put my dresser in here. I would probably put it under there. I don't know that it would necessarily work, but um, that is what I would do. Mine is long. And if you don't have one that's as long, you could maybe put it there or like, you know, right here. I think it just depends on like the size and stuff like that. So you definitely, I wouldn't say this is an amazing closet. It's just open, like you have two racks. So it's probably the same size as a normal closet. It just feels really big, but you do have your stacked washers and dryers. And I'm just saying, it looks kind of gross inside. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'll flip it and show you. Not like gross, but I do feel like prior to somebody else moving in here, that needs to be cleaned that dirt at the bottom needs to be clean. Like you're paying $2,000 a month pretty much. All of that should be cleaned before you move in. That's just me. I don't wanna have to clean somebody else's pet hair or whatever off of my stuff. Okay, so this is the bathroom. I'm trying to talk a little bit louder just because the fan did just come on. Um, there's a toilet and the like vanity area um, with the mirror. They have a nice mirror here. And also something that I do not have at mine, a little medicine cabinet. That is a super nice feature. Um, I don't really care for it though, because at mine I have so much storage here. I don't need a medicine cabinet, but yeah, you just have your standard bathtub shower combination. So you can shower, you can take baths. Up here, there's like a little bit of rust on the shower rod. Obviously like that's gonna come with like time and stuff like that. But here you have your coat closet. I wanted to just go over the fees with you guys really quickly so you guys could, you know, know the fees. <laughs> Application fee, $16 per applicant. Administrative fee, $400. Studio, $125. Um, and this is like a holding fee. One bedroom, 150. Two bedroom, 150, or 175, sorry. Um, this fee is non-refundable unless the application is not approved. Um, security deposit is zero with fully approved credit. That is really nice, I will say. No established credit will be an additional $35 per month plus one month of rent for deposit. Moderate risk is $25 per month and half of month's rent for deposit. High risk is $35 a month and then one month rent for deposit. Severe risk is uh, one month of rent's deposit and you have to have a co-signer. Well, I don't know why I did air quotes. Package locker fee, $125 at move-in. Pet fees, $50. Monthly pet fee for rent. I feel like that's actually really expensive compared to literally every place that I've gone, including the luxury places. And then $65 for two pets. Let's see, I have seen like, you know, $35 per pet, but not $50 per pet or for one pet. Um, and then a $500 pet fee for one pet and then $650 for two pets. Parking uncovered is $45 a month and it's reserved. And then covered reserved is $75 a month, which is what I pay here. Storage is $25 for a private closet. And then you also have $35 for a private cage if you're interested in that. So those are the fees. If you guys are interested, I'll have the link to the website down below in the description box. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that button down below, subscribe, become a member of my squad, and like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I will see you guys on Saturday's video. I might not upload one because my mom is in town and I didn't get a chance to film a video for Saturday and I honestly don't know what to upload and I don't wanna be scrambling. So if I don't upload next Saturday, I promise I will upload the following Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, but I'll talk to you guys um, Saturday, if not Saturday, then Tuesday. I will see you. the outdoor like pool patio deck area i was told that literally the pool is open from memorial day to labor day or reverse whichever comes first <laughs>